Alrighty, guys, we are going to our next match, which is going to be crazy. H2 versus 6. So uh, that's a Mewtwo versus a, well, we, what Gardevoir. should be a Gardevoir. Yeah. Um, for both. But I know 6 to play a lot, many characters, but I, as I thought, he would go to his main against such high cl caliber players here. I'm yeah. actually loving. The amount of CFL and SoFlo balancing we have so far because yeah. it's, it's not it's not dominated by either, showing the fact that um, both regions are actually, despite belief, quite even so far. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is this is really comforting. That means that Florida overall has some pretty high level players. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. So now we're going to this match. Um, so Gardevoir versus Mewtwo is kind of similar to uh, Gardevoir versus Shadow Mewtwo. However, the difference here Ooh, nice is. Mewtwo has a lot more forgiveness because Mewtwo has all that extra health. Yes. Because of that, Mewtwo has a lot of really solid tools to punish Gardevoir and can last longer against her. <laughs> so. And Mewtwo using Togekiss against her is really the bane of Gardevoir. Like, as soon as he gets that Togekiss up, Gardevoir is going to have a much harder time. I think the matchup's pretty even un up until that point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like the cycle cut dash in is fast, but aside from that, Gardevoir can play a pretty solid game. But as right now, he has Togekiss, and he should pop it if he wants. Yep, yeah, I thought so. Right now. And right. now this is where it gets scary. Okay, so this is one of the worst positions in the like in the entire game for um for any character, which is Shadow Mewtwo and Mewtwo. If they are cross dual face from Mega Gardevoir, they completely lose their options. <sighs> Um, so that's something that we have to watch out for during this match. All Hopefully right. Six doesn't get himself in that position. However, H2 is really good at forcing options, so. Yep. And Six went for a grab there and got punished for it. And that's how he won that last, lost that last one. But starting here, Six holding shield, just trying to get in close. As his speed just doesn't allow him to just walk around Gardevoir like Sceptile and Weavile can. Goes up, ooh, ooh hit by that Psychic. Ooh, goes for the grab. Wow. Goes for the obvious grab. H2 is being extremely intimidating. Oh, I know what's happening right now. Yep. Um, Six is right now, he has a habit of getting tilted by players. And that's, that's what I see is happening currently. It's getting hard tilted. All right, so that wasn't in the air. He goes for that. His instant air uh, dashes are so clean. I love it. All right, he's going to get hit by that. However, he he took the better option there, um, and that's gonna be it. Yep. All right. And so H2 we'll takes that 2-0 for the first um, game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that once six, if Six just takes the chance to calm down and evaluate what his options, he could definitely make the comeback. He just has to have it. He's 16. He has to have it sometimes getting um, um, tilted. But I know him to be a very skilled player, and if he stays calm, he can honestly even get. A body a lot of the people even higher up already in the bracket I can actually yeah. see him even getting matches against higher up he's just that skilled he plays the game so much the thing is a, a lot of a lot of things that uh, people don't take advantage of in this game is nice just crap. the amount of time that you have between matches like both these players rushed into their next match yeah. six definitely could have taken some time to just breathe and evaluate what just happened but he's just going straight in I mean sometimes that full aggro approach works but personally I prefer taking the time to realize, is this my, is, is this going to be my best option? Yeah. Um, tried to punish the down X, um, was too slow for it. Um, guess went for a cycle cup on the moon blast, got hit. Energy ball though. All right. Six pops so hit so we can get it. Ooh, All right. ooh, that man is a god. <laughs> and you're not joking. Using hyper beam in this matchup is extremely scary. There's so many things that can go wrong. Like Gardevoir has just so many projectiles that'll hit you before your uh, before your hyper beam will come out. <sighs> All right, that grab is just not working. I think Six is just take his chances and just continue being aggressive. The thing the is, he he's doing the best that he can in that situation. When you get hit by that low slide, Gardevoir has had the option to either uh, attack, grab, or um, or counter. And he's going based on what he's used to fighting, and chances are that's going to be counter after that slide. So there's right, very so little he can do because it's negative eight, I believe. On uh, I think barrier would have been good because I I don't think Gardevoir would have grab. But there we go. That's minus. Uh, I think he could have got a full combo off that. I think that was, that was optimal punish. It was a punish though. Gets the chip down and ooh, no, broke it. Doesn't matter. 
Thanks and that's safe with strike. Yep. This one. Side strike is never on field, fellas. I, I'm actually just realizing he didn't use side strike at all in the last um, match. Side strike is a. I'm not going to say that it's a bad move, but it is a very. It's a sometimes food. You don't always want to be using uh, side strike because. Oh, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's so punishable. Like it's an amazing anti-air, but other than that, it's overall it's just not your go-to move. No, but it's definitely the yeah. move you. Use when it's like I have one health, they have two health. I'm against the wall. Yolo. And that is. Um. <laughs> oh, right, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be gay. However, using it at one health, not the best idea. Oh no, not one health. Yeah. You still take the damage. No, yeah. no, no, no. So yeah, you, the best that's option be in that scenario is def. Maybe not one health. More like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, looks like next up on stream we're gonna have, I believe, a. Obscure versus Goon. And then after that, we're looking at uh, Jab Punch versus Day Skill. So, right. so we'll be right back for those.